Feel pretty good. Yeah. A little relaxed. That's pretty good, I think. <laughs> Do you have to count or is someone counting for you? Yeah, no idea. <laughs> Some number. See ya. It was typical Dan. Like, I, this something I expected. It's like, wow, yeah, okay, Dan can do that. And then I just told him, I wanted to be a part of it. I go, what do you need me to do? Can I help out? And he's like, yeah, let me let me see what's going on. And so when he started planning things out and working out and see what he needed, then um, he says, I need to, you need to keep the, the records, like, to keep the times going. Oh, cool, I'm there, I'm doing it. What do you have to go through to get this crane and everything to be able to do this? Years worth of work. I uh, started talking with them. Last, uh, the Idaho Department of Transportation. Ooh, October, making my inquiries. Did my, filed my Guinness World Record package in December. Spent the whole month of January and February traveling to Boise. How did you get the idea to do this in the first place? I happen to know one of the previous world record holders. And, uh, I, one of the things I excel at is putting logistics together. I knew if I could get a crane, I could break that world record if I put the right team together. So I just recognized that I could do that if I put the right group of people together, and uh, it just came together. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. What's keeping you going? Friends. Always, it's always friends. And you know, I'd like to go ahead and set this record so we can get some more press. Because with the press, comes money for the boys, and girls, excuse me, for the kids. That's really what we're doing. Why is that important to you? Well, it's important to me because I'm in special ops. I've lost a lot of friends. And, uh, yeah, I remember one really bad day, and 18 of my buddies all got killed in a firefight, and they left behind 15 fatherless children. And I'm thinking, the least we can do Get out there, make a few jumps, have a good time, make those kids some money so they can go to college and get a leg up on life because this is a great nation and one of the things that makes this nation great is your ability to overcome things when you have a disadvantage and then come out on top. It's an American tradition and we're trying to uphold that today. This whole charity that we were supporting out here on this 4th of July week is probably the best charity you can encounter if you're an American. Because these children that we're paying for their education have already paid a price for you and for me and for everybody by losing a parent in special ops. The least we can do is give them an education. And uh, if you send your viewers to specialops.org, it would be much appreciated. That's how. Pay me back for risking my life 200 times, if you want to put it that way.